Hello and welcome to Beardicus Plays. My name is Beardicus, and today I am playing Earthbound Beginnings. So, last time we fired the rocket in the Duncan factory. In between episodes, I walked all the way back to town, and uh, I well, technically, I actually used the onyx hook because I was completely lost in the factory. I had no idea where I was going, so I used the onyx hook. I went through Magic Ant, and I walked back to town from there. Um, nothing else interesting happened. I did remember to return the bat, and now I'm going to call my dad and save. Uh, and I wanted to do that on camera because I want to see how much money I made. Just doing all of that stuff. So, let's see. Uh, only 5,000? Bah! This is why I like mom more. Well, I have a decent amount of money, and I'm not really going to have to spend any of it on anything ever again, so it's okay. I, I have to buy, like, five more items, ever. I have to buy one more boomerang for Anna, and then I have to buy the three defense items, and then I'm probably going to buy th the three defense items again for Teddy. So what is that? That's seven items? Yeah, that's not so bad. Um... Okay, speaking of Anna, I think we're gonna get her in this episode. So, uh, we destroyed the blockade, so there's nothing to stop us from going to Snow... Snowman now. Snowman is the town. Ah! Asthma. Oh, I didn't know the... I didn't know the, uh, exhaust attack did damage, too. I mean, I guess... I guess I didn't notice that last time, I just, I don't know, I guess my brain didn't register that until right now. Ah, fugitives. We really need to work on, a uh, our prison system. What do you call it? The security. Like, uh, what are we letting these fugitives... Also, why is this fugitive picking a fight with a 10-year-old? Or 13-year-old? I think Nintendo's 13. 12, 13, somewhere in that range. Why is he picking fights with, with a little kid? That's, that's the issue. Why is, like, you break out of prison and the first thing you do is like, oh, see that kid over there? I'm gonna go pick a fight with him. Why? Why not? Okay, uh... Is there a cash machine? Oh, there's no cash machine. Goodness darn it. Uh, it's a mess everywhere. At all costs, I will protect this station. Well, you're doing a good job of it. Kudos. Okay, let's see. I don't know how far the train goes through, but you need a ticket to ride. Care to buy one, so let's see. Snowman is 36. Okay. So I need $36, I think. Do I have to pay for both of them? Should I bring $72 just to be safe? Okay, I'm gonna bring $72 just to be safe. Um, I will be right back. I'm gonna skip ahead to when I'm back in the station with $72. Okay, we're back. I have $72. Wrong button. $72, and I'm at the station. And let's buy a ticket. So we're gonna go and pick up Anna next, and she's in Snowman. But first, we're gonna head to Reindeer. Yet, yeah, C32. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You gotta get. Whoa, that train is fast. I knew I was gonna have to pay for both. I don't know why the menu gives you the price for one person if I have to pay for two people, but whatever, it's fine. Um, what's the other thing? Spookane. I do have to go to Spookane. Am I supposed to do that first? Should I have brought enough money to head to Snowman and then Spookane, or can I walk to Spookane? There's gonna be, there's gotta be an ATM in snowman somewhere, so I, I don't think I have to worry about that too much. This is a, is it really necessary to show me the entire train, train journey? 
Like, I would have been, I would have been fine with not doing it. Okay, so, I gotta talk to you. Are you going to Snowman? Yes, I found this hat. I believe it's property of a girl who lives there. Please take it to her. So, okay. She got out of here in a hurry. And that is literally all you have to do at Reindeer. I, you never have to come back here. And it should be, yep, 40 to Snowman. Um, how much would it be to Spookane? Because it goes Union, Reindeer, Spookane, then Snowman, which means Spookane to Snowman is 18, so it'd be 18 back, so it's only 36 more. But I'm probably going to die in Snowman. Snowman, it, there's a huge difficulty spike when you get to Snowman. So, uh, I, I actually... It, it wouldn't have been a bad idea for me to level grind a little bit on the way there. But, uh... After Snowman, we're gonna head back to Spookane. And, uh, we're finally gonna get back on track, uh, so to speak, because we're already on track. Alright, we're... This is Snowman now. Now, I'm not sure if I should talk to people, because I get the feeling they're gonna make me sick. Right? Is that something that happens here? Mom left for Youngtown. Oh. That, I'm so sorry. I mean, nothing bad is in Youngtown. What? No. Uh, we haven't heard from her... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I, I always forget to bring bottles of water when I'm doing this stuff. We haven't heard from her for days now. Dad and I are going there to loot... To... I, I was gonna say loot. But, uh... The actual word was a look. I was on my way to Youngtown to look for my wife. But without the train running, how can I get there? Um... It's not really a problem. Because the train's running again. I'm a clairvoyant still in training. However, this much I can see, you shall return again to Union Station. Although I'm not completely sure. I have to go back to Union? Why? I don't remember that. Bigfoot! It's Bigfoot, and he's in folk. Oh my. Oh, 11 damage. Wait, what? I thought PK Freeze was stronger than PK Fire. <clears throat> Why can I didn't know Bigfoot knew magic. Oh, you know, it does make sense now that I think about it. Because how else could he stay out of focus every time people, every time somebody takes a picture of him? Jeez, everybody just loves hitting poor Lloyd. You know, it's... It's surprising. It is surprisingly uh, accurate. Because he gets bullied. So it's like... Even the enemies are drawn to... Picking on poor Lloyd. I feel bad for the poor guy. Oh well. Not much I can do about it. Uh, I heard everyone in Youngtown has disappeared. No, only the adults. I mean... No, nobody has disappeared. I mean, Ghost House in Spookane. Not yet. I don't want you to go, but do so if you must. I must. Just not yet. No problem here. Um... 250 for a night. Not right now. Oh, I gotta find a phone. Because if I do die, I don't want to go all the way back to Union. Oh my god, that clairvoyant guy, he was right. I'm gonna die and I'm gonna end up back in Marysville and then I'm gonna have to go back to Union, just like he said! Is there anything important here? Talk. What can I sell ya? Bread. Mouthwash. Frying pan. Mouthwash? What? Mouthwash? Why? Uh, if you see him, please say hello to him. I wasn't paying attention. Where does he live? I don't know. Whatever. There's a chateau in the mountains to the east. Cough, cough. God damn it! Great, now I'm sick. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta look up if any of the healings heal sickness. PK... I knew I should have done this between episodes. 
But I forgot! Earthbound Beginnings. Poison Paralysis. Stoniness. Sleep. I can't cure sickness. You can't. You, it doesn't work. I have to go to a doctor. Or possibly... Or possibly mouth... That might be what mouthwash does. I'm gonna look that up now. Mouthwash. Fixes cold. Why? There is a man in reindeer that fills the party's inventory full of mouthwash for finding his dentures. This is such a weird game. <sighs> okay, so now I'm sick. Because nobody knows how to cover their goddamn mouth in this game. Oof. Talk. Mouthwash is 175. And I looked up all of the, the healings and none of them. Poison, paralysis, stone, and sleep. Can you, can you believe that? PK healing pie. That the... The one that should, by all logic, be the best healing item wakes you up. It's and now I can't even remember how much it cost. I'll just take out two hundred. Uh, I should have taken out enough to buy a second one. Stop. Moving. Wait, can I not sell to this guy? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, so I don't know how much of that I cut out, but we, we, we cut out some stuff. I cured Nintendo's cold, and I even bought another mouthwash, because mouthwash cures cold for some reason. Uh, I looked up all of the, um... The PK freeze, or pre PK... The, 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 all of the PK healings... And, for some reason, they don't cure colds. You would think that a cold would be one of the easier things to cure, but no. They cure poison, paralysis, stone, and sleep. Which is so weird, right? It's freezing here in Snowman. Don't catch your death of cold. I swear to God, if you cough on me... Brush your teeth, too. Damn it! I'm starting to remember why I kind of hate this game. I have a love-hate relationship with this game. I love the other two mother games. I really, really do. They're they're among my favorite RPGs of all time. But uh, this one's a bit more uh, divisive for me, and this is one of the reasons. Because it's like I want to talk to everybody because you know some of the some people tell you useful things, but then the game punishes me for talking to people by giving me colds for no reason. Is your dad, excuse me, I need to see the person playing this game. No. I have some very important things to talk about. Excuse me, I need to see the person. Okay, fine. Hello there, I appreciate your kindness toward Nintendo. I am the boy's father. Yes, I know, I am the boy's, uh, controller holding guy. I'm, I'm the guy holding the controller. Could you please let me know your name? Uh, thank you for your cooperation. I will say I am... Eh. I was gonna say I'm, I'm the great Beardicus. I think that's. Oh my god, I don't, I'm not even positive, but I, I think that's what the. Well, that's what the other channel is called. But, uh. There we go, Beardicus. We're just. Plain and simple. Are you sure that it is spelled correctly? I I think. I mean, I would know how to spell Beardicus. I, I hope I know how to spell Beardicus. Uh, thank you for spending your time with me. I, too, have urgent things to do, so I'd better go now. Slam. I mean, I wouldn't say what I'm doing is really urgent. I'm just playing a video game. Nintendo, gra Nintendo grab the telephone. There's your dad. 800 more dollars. And you have 10,700. That's not bad. Not bad. Uh, it's a lot more than I have in real life. Ha <laughs> ha! I wish I had money. Uh, I think I'm going to sleep now. Saved your progress. Good night. 18 minutes? God damn it. Hey, uh, uh, 
Let's let's hurry up and and get to. Uh... Oh my, your nose is running. Well, I better go catch it. <laughs> Please tell her the camel's bones in Yucca Desert. Uh, I knew that camel once upon a time. Okay, I'm just gonna back up. It's got nothing to do with you, but I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm getting as far away from you as I can. Crazy guy. You knew the camel. I didn't even know the camel's bones are there. I mean, I guess... I guess you... I, I guess you could know. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta find the church. The church? Okay, accessing... Memory files from Mother 1. Well, technically Earthbound 0, I guess. Uh, Anna hasn't been to school lately. Uh, by the way, the files tell me that she's to the right. By that sign, keep going that way. Anna hasn't been to school lately, I'm so worried. For the record, I already knew that that's where the chapel was. I was just gonna make a, a dramatic thing about it, like I was trying to remember things. Anna's house is a chateau, not a mansion. But I'll bet you already knew that. I actually thought it was a church. Well, that just goes to show... Straight ahead. I don't see it. I don't think it's actually straight ahead, is it? I'm gonna go around. Um, great, I completely forgot what I was talking about. I was making such hilarious jokes, and I forgot what I was saying. Okay, right. Um, so I thought that it was a church, but it seems to have actually been a chapel. It seems to have actually been a chateau. Chat... Chateau. Chateau. How do you say it? Am I saying it right? Am I an idiot? Am I a fool? Am I making a fool of myself again? <sighs> Why do I always have to make a fool of myself? Always acting like I know what words mean and how to say them. When in fact, I don't. I'm an idiot. I don't know anything. Oh, I remember these things. This is, this is why this area is hard, because you gotta fight four of these mothers all at once. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna bet that Nintendo can, oh shoot. Oh, I guess it didn't matter, because Lloyd didn't go yet anyway. Yeah, I might die. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Let's life up Lloyd. And then he's gonna use that bomb that I never got rid of. Because the bomb might, maybe? Hit everybody, maybe? Please? I should run away. Okay, there's one. Two. Three and four. Okay, it didn't kill either of them, but I, I should be able to finish them both off pretty quickly. Well, not necessarily quickly, but I should be able to finish them both off. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. We did it. I did it, guys. I, I didn't give up, and I won. I saved the day. I saved the world. Oh, no. Well, there are only three of them. Okay, if it takes two hits to kill one, it'll take three turns... Oh, uh, Lloyd is as good as dead. I gotta get out of here. But what if I fail to get out? Then Lloyd will definitely be dead. If one of them hits Ninten, I could heal Nin. Okay, I'm gonna heal Lloyd, and then I'm gonna hit that guy. And then, ah, stop hitting Lloyd! And Ninten, stop hitting. You know what? Let's, uh, let's be friends. There we go, that's an idea, let's all be friends. We can be best friends forever. Just please stop hitting us. Five damage, bit Lloyd for 30, uh, 14 damage, and 13 damage. Okay, cool. So, we're kind of making progress. We should, you know what, okay. We should, Lloyd should be able to survive two hits. And see, he only got hit once. He didn't even get hit once. So that guy's down for the count. See, you guys were worried. 
I'm probably gonna take this fight out of the. You know, I edit this fight out because it's boring. Because we didn't even die. You can leave the other one in, but take that one out. And then let's heal up this stupid head. See, we're fine. Look at all that health. Okay, and we're back. Oh, and we're gone. Okay, and we're back. Wait. Damn it! And we're back. That was supposed to be a joke earlier, but whatever. Okay, here we go. We made it. There she is, Anna. You've appeared just like in my dream. The boy in my dream will look just like you. Okay. Uh, here. You can have this hat. Are you Ninten? I must go on a trip to find my mom, and... I needed your help. So I've been waiting for you, Ninten. First, let's go see what is happening in Youngtown. Daddy, goodbye. Next time, Mommy will come back with me. Believe in us. Okay. So, I don't know how long this episode has been so far. This guy's gonna restore my health, right? Surely, our pleas will be heard in the near future. For now, just to have a peaceful sleep. Nice. Okay. And I can't possibly be level one. Like, right? Damn it, I knew it. It is literally impossible to bring her back to town without her dying. Okay, so I don't know how long this episode's been going, but... I don't think I have to do anything else in Snowman. So I am just going to head head out and uh, do another level, level grinding session. Last time I was being all dramatic about how it was like the biggest level grinding I have ever done in my life. It's not going to hold a candle to this next one. But, I'll tell you all about it next time, because this episode is now over. Thank you so much for watching, and click the little button to subscribe or watch another episode of whatever. But until then, have a nice day, and goodbye!